everyone, welcome to the fourth episode of Sewing 101. In this episode, I'll be showing you how to sew a lap zipper. Lap zippers are mostly known for being on skirts. This is what it looks like. If you're new to this series, I highly recommend for you to watch the first episode on how to sew straight lines because I also show how fabric is made and how to prepare your fabric. And that's really important on how to sew anything you're going to sew in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to be updated on future episodes and other crafty videos. You will need two 5x10 rectangles and a 7 inch zipper or smaller. Start by indicating your right and wrong side using a crayon. Place them right sides together and place a zipper on one of the edges. Line up the zipper with the fabric so the zipper doesn't stick out of any of the edges. Now mark where the end of the zipper stopper ends. On the same side where you marked the zipper, mark a 1 and 1 fourth inch seam allowance. Starting from the top, you're going to base stitch and when you get to the zipper stopper, you're going to do a regular stitch. So here I'm starting from the bottom, I knot then do a regular stitch and then I knot at the zipper stopper. Then I use the widest stitch length and that's the base stitch and I continue down. When you sew a base stitch, you usually don't knot, but here we're going to knot using the same stitch length. This is because we don't want the stitches to open up while we're sewing the zipper. Now iron the way we sewed. Open it up and iron. Open up the seam allowance and iron that too. Move the body piece to one side and place the zipper on the middle of the seam on the seam allowance. Right sides together. Make sure the teeth of the zipper is lining up with the seam. Pin it in place so it doesn't move around. Mark the end of the bottom of the zipper stopper. Now sew one side of the zipper tape and one layer of the seam allowance together. Use a zipper foot when sewing the zipper. Before you start sewing, place the needle next to the zipper head and then bring it up to the top keeping the same seam allowance. This is so you keep a consistent straight line. Sew three knots and continue down. To keep a straight line, follow one of the lines you see on the zipper tape. Don't look at the needle because you might go crooked. Take your time when sewing the zipper so you don't mess up. But if you do, you can always start over. That's why we're working on little squares. When you're done and you turn the zipper over, this is what it should look like. Iron the seam in place. Now edge stitch the seam allowance and the zipper tape as close as you can. Sew your three knots and continue sewing as close to the edge as you can. This is what it should look like after. Before you continue with the following steps, you want to make sure the seam allowance goes over the zipper completely. If your seam allowance is too short, you need to start over and make it a little longer. Now open it up so you see both right sides. Now you're going to sew an L shape right above the zipper. This is what the back looks like. When you sew next to the zipper head, you need to hold down the seam and make like a little tent above the zipper head so when you take out the base stitch, the seam allowance will lay flat. Do not pull the fabric top. Repeat the same step you previously did with the zipper head. That's placing the needle next to the zipper head and bringing it up to the top, keeping the same width. 
Sew your three knots and continue sewing. As you're sewing the zipper the entire time, keep feeling the zipper teeth so you know where you're sewing. And remember, hold down the fabric on the right side of the zipper head. Just in case you're wondering, I lowered the light exposure so the lighting is not so bright and so you can see the stitching. When you feel that you're a quarter away from the zipper stopper, place the needle down and turn the needle at a 90 degree angle and continue sewing and place the needle right at the seam. Move the hand wheel towards you to slowly get the needle right in the seam. So two knots and you're done! Here's a close-up view. If you feel that the fabric is a little loose at the zipper head, you're ready to take out the base stitch. Use a seam ripper and slowly rip out the stitches. You just finished sewing a lap zipper. Thumbs up this video if you found it helpful. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram if you like to follow any updates, and maybe we can chat! Thank you for watching!